Alright, welcome to 7th grade. Today we're talking about addition and subtraction equations. Please put your name at the top uh, as well as the date in this title. Again, we need to make sure you have all these details. Um, and this is similar to what we've done in the past, especially you'll remember the rules from last year and the pictures I used to describe it. Uh, but you need to pay special close attention and we need to remember zero pairs. So again, I hope you remember that a zero pair is if you have one positive and one negative, they cancel each other out. Um, and that can be thought of as one positive algebra tile and one negative algebra tile, or just positive one and negative one. Um, so we need to know our integer rules for addition and subtraction equations. Here we go. So this is the picture I like to use to describe things. Um, you know, looking at this saying, what the heck is this? Well, these are the scales of justice. And again, the scales of justice shows that two things are balanced, and we want to know, well, what is balanced and how is it balanced? And we're going to try and keep it balanced but figure something out. So what I want to point out to you right here is the fact that um, the fact that we have x, and I like to think of this as our x box. I know, very clever joke. You can tell me I'm hilarious. Don't worry, I've heard it all before. So that's an x box, but the idea is there that doesn't have a specific value. I think of it as like a little paper box um, that someone might use in a magic trick, like you know when they turn a cup upside down and they're trying to keep something hidden from you. We don't know how many algebra tiles are underneath that X box. We don't know what its value is. But we can see these values. We can see three positive tiles, and we can see six negative tiles over here. So this actually expresses an equation. It tells us that two things are equal on the scales of justice. We have negative six on the right, and that's equal to X, whatever it may be, plus three positive tiles. So x and three more tiles is going to be equal to negative six. And we can use this to try and figure out, well, what is inside this x box? We can uh, use some operations to solve for it. Um, so we'll do that in a second, but first uh, let's take some notes that we're going to be using as we go along. And I disappeared, so hold on. All right, I'm back. Here's our steps that we need to take down. It's equation solving notes. These will be true for all the equations we solve. The first step, step number one, draw the scales of justice. Step number two, locate the variable or find the variable, as some of you may know it or remember it. Uh, so we need to draw the scales of justice, then we find our variable, identify it. And then the third step is to isolate or to get the variable alone by undoing whatever has been done to it. So we're going to say, what's on the same side of the scales of justice with this variable, how do we get rid of them so we can find out what just the variable balances with. We want to know just what is the variable balanced with, what is it equal to, what is its value. Um, so these are the just three notes. Uh, we're going to follow these steps. I'm going to ask you them during class. You, you just cycle through them in your mind as we go through some problems. Speaking of some problems, let's go ahead and solve that one from earlier. We said that the equation that this represents is x plus 3, and again I like to draw the equal sign on the scales because they're balanced, equals negative 6. Now if we're thinking about this problem, we're thinking how can we get this x alone? Well one way is just say we'll get rid of these three positives. But the problem is we don't have any positives on the right side, so I don't know how to get rid of three positives on the right side. So I wonder how zero pairs could help us. Well, what we could do is we could just say, if I know that if we put three negatives with these three positives, the scales would tip. They would no longer be balanced because I'm adding something to one of the sides or I'm changing the value of one of the sides. But if I put three more tiles on the right side too, then it would stay balanced because we added three negative tiles and three negative tiles. If you add the same value or amount to both sides, or if you subtract the same value or amount from both sides, then it should stay balanced. Um, and so we know that these would all cancel out because they're zero pairs. And in this case, we would have x is equal to, now it is equal to negative 9. Now if you're just going to do this without drawing the picture, however, on this for this homework sheet, full credit, I want you to draw this picture of the scales. Um, if you're just going to draw this, you could say, what do we do? We added three negatives. And that's how we could get this to cancel out. And we added three negatives on the right side, and that's how they canceled out. And we can say that these are equal to, to show that we did the same thing to both sides, so they stayed balanced. 
Now this will cancel out if you add three positives and add three negatives. We showed that those were zero pairs. And we're just left with an x on this side and negative six plus negative three. Two sets of negatives would give us a total of negative nine. So make sure you have all that written down. Pause it because I'm about to erase. And we're going to move on to some regular examples without pictures. So for these next ones, you don't have to draw pictures. But here we go. First one says, negative 28 plus p equals negative 43. Now, I'm just going to follow the same steps. Step number one is draw the scales of justice. So I'll do that. Step number two is locate the variable. Locate the variable. It is p, so I found it. And now that I know that p is on the same side as negative 28, I can isolate the variable by undoing what's been done. Well, negative 28 has been added, so I can subtract negative 28. If I take away negative 28, then I'm really just adding positive 28. Either of those, no matter which way you write it, those will cancel out. I just think it's important that you make something that will cancel out. If you have negative 28 and you add 28 more negatives, that would not cancel out. But subtracting negative 28 or adding positive 28 is probably the best way to do it. So let's, so on this side, say we're going to add positive 28. And now I just need to think of my integer addition rules. Do I need to play add ops? It's already addition. If I have 43 negatives and 28 positives, there's more negatives than positives, but they're not getting along. They're going to eat each other up. Uh, so some of those will disappear. They're going to cancel out those zero pairs. And if I do 43 minus 28, we can do that mentally. That would be 15 negatives would be left over because we have more negatives than positives. Different signs we subtract. Next one, you have to practice your um, equation writing skills. It says 19 is equal to, so I can start off and already know that means 19 is equal to negative 6. Okay, it's equal to negative 6 plus the opposite of a number. Okay, well, let's say a number might be just, I already told you guys some of my favorites, h plus the opposite of a number h. Okay, so what are we going to do in this case? And I'm throwing a little curveball, so if you're going to work ahead, that's fine, but I want you to make sure you get the right answer because we're solving for h. If, if it says solve for h, which it doesn't, but it should. It says solve for the number. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the scales of justice, step number one. Step number two is locate the variable. The variable is h. And now we're going to isolate the variable by undoing what's been done. Well, negative 6 has been added. How do I cancel out 6 negatives? I can add 6 positives. But I need to add 6 positives to both sides. Now we'll have negative h. And this is the part everyone, almost everyone, forgets. We are not just left with h on this side. We're left with negative h. We only canceled out the negative 6. But we still have negative h. Negative h would be equal to 25. And if negative h, or the opposite of h, is 25, what is h? Well, if the opposite of h is 25, the opposite of what number is positive 25? Negative 25. Then positive h will be negative 25. So make sure you understand that, maybe re-listen. If 25 is the opposite of h, then h is the opposite of 25, or negative 25. Um, as always, I'm going to leave you with a couple problems to do on your own. So hopefully you copy down all these notes to get full credit for this homework. I'm erasing so that you can see your homework assignments on the next page. And here they are. I will see you tomorrow. Get to work on these. First, solve this and make sure you write both equations before you solve. Please solve them in the way that I have, working your way down, showing what you're canceling, using the scales of justice. I'll see you later.